Hey guys, it's Yuki. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to work with STL files inside SolidWorks assembly. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new um, random STL file. Um, I'm just going to make it a cylinder this time. And I'm going to extrude it one inch. I'm going to extrude it one inch. So that's my part I have here. I'm going to save this as an STL file. And this works, by the way, um, if you find get another STL file from a different source and you keep and you do the same and you replicate the, these steps I'm doing here, this will work as well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open that STL file I just created, um, part 4.stl, and this is what it's going to look like. A couple things we can do here before we get into anything. First is you need to get the mesh molding tab here. So all you have to do is right click here and you should have something called mesh molding. If you right click this tab and go to tabs and just click and click on mesh molding. After that I'm gonna press something called surface on um actually before I do that I'm gonna save this as a SolidWorks pod file. So that's what I just did, and I'm going to open up an assembly and insert that part in here. Assuming this is fixed and it's floating, I can't move this since I don't know which water surface is. I can't interact with anything around it. So what I need to do to be able to move this part is if I go back to this original part, I got to go press something called surface from mesh. And there's a couple help um, pictures here. So this is one for surfaces. This one's for spher spherical for surfaces. And this one's for cylindrical surfaces. And this one's for cones or conical surfaces. So the main two I usually use are the plan planner, the surfaces. And I use the cylindrical surfaces for some holes sometimes that customer provide. Um, so all you have to do to create this face is I just click this face and I'm going to calculate, press calculate, and it's going to make the whole entire top layer here a surface. So I'm going to press OK. I'm going to do the same thing with the bottom side. And I'm also going to click the cylindrical surface and click on the outside and press calculate and press OK here. So now, as you see here on the left side, we have surface from mesh on the top surface, the bottom surface, oh, that's the, the outside. Cylindrical surface and the bottom surface here. If I press save here and go back to the assembly, since I have a place to, and if I since I have a surface to click, I can actually move this um, model around and put it in and actually do mates with it as well. So if I use a mate and I have, and I can, I couldn't do anything with this. So if, if I make two of these, I assume I can make these concentric like that. And you can actually work with STL files like this. I can also make these faces, I assume. Um, sometimes it gets a little difficult since it's transparent, but something like this. Uh, coincident and see, I can put the, I can work with STL files now. This can work with SolidWorks parts files with STLs or even step files as well. So if you have trouble with STL files, um, just do what I just did here and hopefully that helps. Thanks for watching. If you like the video, sub. Thanks.